We shut down our Eagle Ford in advance of the storm. We have now resumed production. We'll have the vast majority of that production back on by the end of this week. We got a lot of water. Um, Port Arthur, which is right by our facility, I think in one day got 27 inches of rain, just unheard of levels. Um, and, uh, and now we're dealing with you know, uh, where all that water is flowing, it happens to be flowing down our channels. My expectation is there may be one or two uh, cargoes that, um, um, that get disrupted, uh, but we don't see anything material. There was a fair amount of scrambling going around, making sure that we had diesel for our frack crews and for our rigs, but as far as Laredo's concerned, we didn't lose any production or flare much gas at all. We think that some 15 of the 20 or so the refineries that have been, been impacted by the storm are already start, starting back and ramping up production. Some of the bigger ones are expected to come back online in the next two days. Fortunately for us, we have not uh, shut in any wells, but there was a few ba uh, larger batteries that we had to uh, choke back a little bit. So for the quarter on production, I would say it's very small. In advance of the storm hitting South Texas, we shut in all of our wells in the Eagle for Shale, just as a precautionary measure for our employees. And those are now back on full production. In the Permian Basin, we've had some effects in terms of the downstream markets.